Well, hello and welcome to another movie review by Movie Burner Entertainment. My name is Stephen, and today I'm going to talk about the 2017 release, The Disaster Artist. Uh, this was directed by James Franco and written by Scott Newstader, uh, who wrote the screenplay, along with Michael H. Weber. This stars James Franco and Dave Franco and Ari Grainer. When Greg Sestero, played by Dave Franco, an inspiring film actor, meets the weird and mysterious Tommy Wiseau, played by James Franco in an acting class, they form a unique friendship and travel to Hollywood to make their dreams come true. When the disaster artist hit the cinema, a few critics and fans alike said, to get a lot of the references in this movie, you would have to view Wiseau's The Room. This is set around the early 2000s. Sestero and Wiseau develop a relationship for their love of film and acting. Greg's biggest problem is being comfortable performing and his abilities in front of a large audience. Having witnessed Tommy perform at an audition and what can only be described as expressing himself, Greg isn't of how much Tommy is liberated on stage and shows no signs of fear. This is the basis of the adventure to Hollywood and the big time. Or so they thought. I haven't watched The Room and to be honest it didn't stop me enjoying this movie. I recently ranked this my third best film of 2017 in our Movie Burner podcast episode 12 and over the course of this review I will explain why. The basis for the disaster artist is working around what led Tommy Wiseau to make what is arguably one of the worst movies ever made. I can't comment on The Room, but there is something magical about the experience of the disaster artist. The blend of naivety, humour and characters is what entertain and intrigue me. Tommy Wiseau is such an interesting guy in the sense you don't know what's coming next with him. There were a lot of questions about him in this film that have been also asked in real life. Where's the accent from? He claims it's a New Orleans accent. Where did he find the cash to have another home in LA and finance a film that came in at $6 million? Does it really matter? In fact, no it doesn't. James Franco continues to surprise me with his acting abilities in some of his recent projects he has worked on. Taking the director's chair for this movie as well as taking the lead role shows Franco's commitment to the film and his abilities to impersonate or should that be embody the essence of Wusu is stunning. His mannerisms and timing is what keeps you focused on the character and the actor deserves a lot of praise for this and his ability to laugh at or with Wusu but sympathise with him also. Dave Franco is also terrific as Greg Sestero. I previously reviewed both Now You See Me films and the movie Nerve, and if I'm totally honest, neither of these performances from Dave stood out for me. And The Disaster Artist is a different story. Although Wasu dominates the screen, it would be ignorant not to recognise Dave Franco's presence throughout this story. There appears to be a bit of guilt put on Sestero's shoulders by Wasu in the final third of the film. Tommy brought Greg out of his shell. He also took him to LA to stay in his house and have a strong role in his movie that he was financing. Dave Franco displays this well in frustration and disappointment as a chance to appear as a lumberjack in Malcolm in the Middle after a chance meeting with Brian Cranston is thwarted by Wusu not allowing Greg to keep his beard, which apparently was a job requirement for a lumberjack by all accounts, as his final scenes in the room require a clean-shaven Greg for his grand entrance. You could be forgiven for thinking that wasn't the real reason Tommy put a block on this, as he comes across as jealous and petty at this point. Overall, The Disaster Artist is a terrific film, directed well by James Franco. Both brothers just slot right into their characters, and though I haven't seen The Room, I don't think this has hindered my viewing pleasure in any way. Neither do I feel the urge to go and watch The Room out of curiosity, as my viewing of The Disaster Artist was fulfilling and satisfactory, and I can't recommend this film enough. Remember guys, if you're enjoying the content we're putting out, then do subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes and Google Play, whilst also giving us a little follow on Facebook at Movie Burner Entertainment and on Twitter at Movie Burners. You can also catch up with all the latest reviews we're putting out on the Movie Burner blog at MovieBurnerEntertainment.org. Until the next time, goodbye.